In just one week, 130 pieces of Russian armored equipment were obliterated. Russian forces continued to assault the Vulada front but suffered terrible losses, especially in armored vehicles. 130 Russian vehicles were destroyed by the Ukrainian defense forces just last week. In a statement to Ukrenska Pravda, Colonel Alexei Demistrezkivsky, spokesman for the Joint Press Office of the Defense Forces of the Tavria Front, revealed that the Russian army had lost a significant number of armored vehicles on the Volada Front over the previous two weeks. Regarding the previously shared images and videos of the destruction of a column of military equipment in this location, 130 armored vehicle components, including 36 tanks, were destroyed during the so-called main operation last week alone. The Ukrainian rocket forces and artillery units, which carried out potent attacks on the invaders' positions every day last week, were hailed for their efforts. The Midras Skivsky noted that there were days when Russian forces had been losing 15 to 20 pieces of equipment independently. One piece of the Pyon self-propelled artillery was entirely destroyed, rendering the entire unit useless. Russian invaders are suffering severe losses and are beyond repair. The survivors of the Russian Pacific Fleet's 155th Marine Brigade have partially rioted despite being almost entirely decimated. The colonel stressed at the same time as Demetraska that money is being taken from Russian soldiers as a result of bullying and extortion in particular to aid their fallen friends, despite the fact that most of those kills are simply left on the battlefield. States you are crassly ignorant 20 refrigerator trucks have been assigned by Ukrainian railways to transport the bodies of dead occupants to the Russian border. In accordance with Dmitryskivsky, Russian invaders employ the so-called Zukov's technique, or attacking in waves, in which a platoon of up to 30 soldiers is launched forward in a head-on attack through the terrain, killing the colonel. It was also noted that a significant number of Russian soldiers had been captured by the Ukrainians, particularly Wagnerites and Marines from the 40th and 155th Brigades of Russia. According to the prisoners of war, the training and readiness of the personnel were not taken into account when manning their units, as the 155th Marine Brigade is made up of regular sailors, and the Wagnerites contain a significant number of AIDS patients and drug addicts.